Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video we are going to be covering the basics of fractions. So let's get started. This is a whole pizza. But we don't usually eat a pizza just like this. We usually cut it into pieces and eat the pizza bit by bit until we're full. So let's cut this pizza into one, two, three, four equal pieces. But I only want to eat one of those pieces. So I didn't eat the whole pizza, I only ate one piece of the pizza. In other words, I ate a fraction of the pizza. And this is how we'll represent a fraction of a pizza. So I ate one piece out of four pieces. So the top number above the line is the number of parts taken from a whole. So I ate one part of the whole pizza. And the bottom number is how many parts makes a whole. So four equal parts makes a whole pizza. Now let's say I eat another two pieces. So what fraction of the pizza did I eat now? So first I have my line. Remember above the line is the number of parts taken from a whole. So the number of parts I ate. That is three pieces. And underneath the line is the number of parts that make a whole pizza. That is four pieces. Now instead of a whole sentence, there's just one word we use when we talk about the top number and one word we use when we talk about the bottom number. So the top number, the number of parts taken from a whole, that is also called the numerator. And the bottom part, how many parts make a whole, that is also called the denominator. Those two words are very important. Now let's take the same pizza. We said we ate three out of four parts. But now let's ask this question differently. What if I ask you what fraction of the pizza is left over? What didn't I eat yet? Then the fraction is going to look different. It's the same pizza, but my question is different. So what fraction of the pizza is left over? That is going to be one out of four pieces. Now let's have another example. Here we have a slab chocolate with 10 equal pieces and I eat three of those pieces. Now my question is, what fraction of this chocolate did I eat? So I ate three out of 10 equal pieces. But what if I ask you how many chocolate is left over? That is a different question. That will be seven pieces out of the 10 pieces. Now let's look at one other example. Here we have 15 jelly beans. I'm asking you what fraction of this jelly beans are red. There are one, two, three, four, five, six red jelly beans. So six out of the 15 jelly beans are red. Now I ask you how many are yellow? There are one, two jelly beans that are yellow. So two out of the 15. And lastly, I ask you how many are blue? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jelly beans that are blue. So seven out of the 15 are blue. Now we have different types of fractions. And these types of fractions are called proper fractions because the denominator is bigger than the numerator. So when the denominator is bigger than the numerator, the bottom number is bigger than the top number, it's called a proper fraction. But let's look at this example. Here we have two whole pizzas and we slice them both in equal parts of four. And you decide to eat one whole pizza and one piece of the next pizza. Now remember, we have our line above the line is the numerator 
and below the line is the denominator. So what's the numerator again? That's the number of parts taken from a whole. So we took one, two, three, four, five parts. And the denominator is how many parts makes a whole. So one whole pizza. So both of these pizzas consist out of four equal pieces. So how many parts make a whole pizza? Four. So can you see that this is different from our previous examples? Here, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So in other words, this is not a proper fraction. This is an improper fraction. And now let's look at one more type of fractions. So let's look at this exact example. We can also say we ate one whole pizza and we ate one piece of the next pizza. So one out of four pieces of the next pizza. And now you can see that this again looks different from the other fractions because we have a whole number with a fraction. So it is a mixed fraction. And like in all my other videos, underneath this video in the description box below is a worksheet with a memo if you would like to go and practice this some more. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.